Hey everybody, welcome to Workforce Gaming. I'm Brad, here with Doug. Hey. Final Fantasy 16 mm-hmm. just put out the... It's a demo, but it's the first, like, basically two hours of Final Fantasy 16 mm-hmm. um, as kind of the get ready for this thing in about 10 days. And mm-hmm. before we say anything else, just holy shit. <laughs> um, yeah. We're gonna we're just gonna talk through the it's the first two hours, so I feel like there's no real point in going like, oh spoilers, it's two hours of this game. Like that's yeah. probably gonna be fifty hours minimum. So we're just gonna leave it at like we're gonna talk about all this stuff. So if you haven't played the demo and you wanna know or you're holding off or whatever, we're gonna talk about all of it. But mm-hmm. um just to start with, this is probably one of the my favorite things <laughs> I've played in like the last two years. Like I, I have it's my PS five physical collection in front of me and there is nothing on this shelf that I would say is better than the first two hours of Final <laughs> Fantasy sixteen. <laughs> I, I'm not like I don't think it's like I don't think it's that crazy. I, I mean, I, it's I don't know if it's that good is the best thing I've played, but it, it's pretty cool. It definitely felt uh, it's one of the few times like I've had the PS5 for like two years, three years now. It's like it was like mm-hmm. oh, this is a current gen, next gen kind this, of moment. This is what these thing. should be. <laughs> yeah. This is where we should be at. It yeah. shouldn't be whatever else. This is where we should be at. This is what we yeah. should be doing. Um. So I want to just start with just the the set pieces because I think that's the part that blew me away more than anything yeah. else. The open, I, um, I I really like the old, I really like the first like five minutes, ten minutes. I don't know. It's like yeah. a really short segment. That's like I was. It just jaw dropping. Even, even <laughs> just yeah, and th- there were so many parts in this. And again, it's two hours where I was just like my mind was blown by what they're doing. Yeah. Um. Even but even just like I guess just it's not a set piece, but the first kind of thing that pops up on your screen, is just this short little text piece. And then final fantasy 16 pops up and it has this very old school final fantasy intro feel to it, where mm-hmm. it's just like something, something crystals and it disappears. And then just says final fantasy 16. And then we get like the, like almost borderline, like almost like a star Wars pan down type feel yeah, like, yeah, into yeah. what this is going on. And it's just, mm-hmm. it's so good, but just, yeah, you mentioned those first five minutes of set pieces. So, um, summons, I already forgot the name. I, Ra- icons. Ramo, Ramo and Shiva. No, I was yeah. thinking about what they call them in this one. I- oh, icons. The icons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the icons, right? So they're fighting to begin this, and just the the scale of these things, yeah, is insane. And it is very clear. Like, no, no, no. When these things show up, million, it's 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 millions of people are dead. Yeah, like, yeah. It's they're they're very spooky. I think I think Final Fantasy fifteen did a really good job. I think for the first time, one of my probably one of the easiest easiest best parts of Final Fantasy fifteen was when the summons come in. It's like it's it's a it's a big moment. And in yes. this one, it's like not only is this a big moment, it's a big like story moment, which was like really cool. It wasn't just it wasn't just a gameplay moment; it was a real story moment. The the thing I really really liked even before they they showed the summons that was how they kind of set the world of Final Fantasy sixteen is they're seeing this battle, and the music that they're playing is the Final Fantasy theme in this very strange twisted mm-hmm. war into like a war theme. You could yeah. hear the do 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 in the background of it, but there's these people clashing in blood, and then the summons come in, and then they're just like stomping on people on their side. It's just like, oh my god. It just it felt so it felt so foreign for a Final Fantasy game, yes. which is exactly how a Final Fantasy game should feel when it's numbered. Like when you first boot up Final Fantasy seven from six to seven, it's like it's a jump. It's it's a jump. Even like eight eight was it was like oh there's a, there's a there's a sort of unfamiliarity that I think is can that I think is really really cool for Final Fantasy, and I felt that in like a very strong way that I hadn't felt with a Final Fantasy in a while. Um, yeah. That was just like it felt so foreign, and as a result, so cool. But man, those those icon fights, um, they have they have a really really good sense of scale. Besides, there's the one really big one. The other icon, Shiva, is like a really small icon. But yep. the way they show when they fight, it's the com- yeah, comparatively in size, it's probably still like two or three stories tall. But the <laughs> way when they fight, where Ram was like throwing punches, and then Shiva's just setting out like fr- frost bolts, I I can't describe how powerful they made Shiva seem when she was like blocking the punches with like oh, yeah. the, the and oh my god, it's just and it's it's playing out in real time too because you're seeing portions of the fight as you're walking through it's like an yep. uncharted level and thing with final fantasy shit it's amazing 
<laughs> yeah, and that, and that's what did it for me. Is just as you're running, and there's just rocks falling, and there's and you'll just see in the background like a foot, and like yeah. <laughs> just those kind of things where it's just like you are under this. This thing is happening around you, and I think, um, I think every time we talk about Final Fantasy, I go back to ten just because that's that's my one. Mm-hmm. It's when a summon comes in, just everything else is gone. It's like just that summon is here, and we're yeah. focusing on that. And even fifteen had it where it's these big monstrous things, but we kind of we kind of just pretended everything else was gone for a minute. Mm-hmm. Where this is just like, no, 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 like, you're running through these. These things are happening around you, and this is affecting yeah. the world. This giant-ass monster, and um, especially the, the icon fight at the end of the demo, where you have the two going at it. I mean, it, when, and again, full spoilers, when Joshua starts to turn into Phoenix, and just <gasps> everybody bursts. That scene. But yes. everybody's like... Oh shit! It's yeah. happening! Run, run, run! Like, yeah. there's no like, oh yeah, here goes our guy. Our guy's yeah. coming out to do. It's like, no, no, no. This is like, it, it's it's like the equivalent of like a nuclear bomb, where it's like, yes. it doesn't matter what side you're on, it doesn't matter who you are. Like, when this thing chooses to happen or doesn't choose to happen, yeah. it wasn't quite clear to me how much control he had over. It. And they mentioned he lost control, and I'm sure we'll get into that yeah. later in the game. But it's clear that like once this thing happens, there are no more sides. It is just yeah, get yeah. the fuck out because you're going to die if you stay here. It, it, and it's really cool. Besides just those fights in the actual like the plot that they that they're kind of setting up. There's a discussion between the leaders of the countries of like whether or not to actually like release an icon yeah. in a battle because it's 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 it is that sort of like nuclear armament. It's like okay, if we're doing this. We are escalating this fight, and if we don't completely destroy them, and then they have time to release their icon, um, that that scene, I guess, kind of kind of jumping a little bit to that scene where Joshua is turning, is probably my favorite. I think that just such a good way of setting the tone for Final Fantasy mm-hmm. 16. It's this really beautiful, really ugly scene <laughs> yep. where Joshua is turning into the Phoenix, and instead of I guess in any other, not in like most games, when I, somebody does a transformation, there's a big burst of light and they swap out the models. But when oh, they yeah. do Joshua's transformation, his like, the wings are like growing on his back and his yep. eyes like start changing colors. And it's a really, really beautiful image. And like you're saying, and the soldiers around him are like, we are going to die. <laughs> like, right. And they're just being incinerated. Like there's yeah, some yeah. that are just straight up incinerated in the middle of this. And just, yeah, that, that mid transformation shot, I don't feel like you get very often. Yeah. And that mid transformation shot was just so, so, so cool. Yeah. Um, but again, even just like in Clive's opening mission in that first little bit, it's mm. ignore everybody else. We just have to get to the dock and icon. kill them. Yeah. It doesn't matter what else happens. Kill anybody is in your way. Run past them. I don't care. That one person is what we need to get to before it happens and it's just there's this huge sense of like this weight to everything that's happening as soon as there's like this mention of things these things being involved and the fact that again we've played this game for i think like an hour and 45 to two hours somewhere in that way and we already have this huge sense of how important of an event this is how like catastrophic to the world how meaningful this is is just insane for the storytelling in this to fit yeah. that all into basically what is a tutorial. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. I, I, I want, there's a really, really small scene in the beginning that's kind of shows the scale that I really, really liked. They're talking about, okay, we need to kill the, I don't you call the person who, who controls an icon, like whatever they call that. Dominant. Like the, dominant. Okay, the, the person who, okay, the icon holder is a dominant. I like before the battle with Shiva and Ramu starts, they just see a floating crystal in the sky. They're like, it's starting. We should start moving. Um, yeah. And like what, there's just like an ice crystal in the sky that just looks really ominous. And all of a sudden it's not like snow, but it's just kind of like ice starts to like slowly swirl around it. It's just, I love that it's not, there's so much build up to it. Yeah. <laughs> and then when the bomb goes off um, a few times in it, like quite literally, like they definitely using some like nuclear imagery in it. Um, yeah. It's yeah, just just drive hopping. Actually, I love the opening. We didn't even talk about like the very first scene. I think is an icon fight, right? With the yeah. with with the phoenix and, and Ifrit like falling down and shooting. It's just oh, yeah. Man, well, and so then cool. you come back to that scene later on because it's the yeah. same deal. But yeah, it's yeah. like it's like Panzer Dragoon like <laughs> type of <laughs> yeah. thing where it's just like this like shoot shoot shoot. And so like I didn't. And that's the thing with this. There's so much that I didn't expect. Like I, okay, yeah. I expected the big monsters, but like I didn't expect that kind of on rail shooter. Um, the other moment where I was like, "Oh shit!" is you, where you get to play as Joshua for a second. Yeah, because uh, they've been so much like this is Clive's story. 
you're Clive. Yeah. No, you're not getting a full party. You're not going to have people around you all the time. But it's like, oh, no, but now I'm Joshua. What? Where yeah. did this come from? Like, very, very cool. Yeah, and it's that 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 scene's really really neat because they kind of show how powerful Joshua is because in just a really subtle Final Fantasy way that I really liked is like one of his abilities isn't cure it's curaga it's the most yeah. powerful healing spell in the game well, and they show him if using... you oh sorry I say Kupa? if you use it if you use it you get the nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine heal oh if really I didn't try it, it. Yeah. oh that's so cool <laughs> I tried um, it well I just wanted to see everything so I just pushed like every yeah. button <laughs> the the thing I really liked about it um the one thing I, I do want to talk about just like on the magic stuff is the thing that I think f- this one has done. I, I see some games do this, but this, I've seen this game do it better than anything else is in the world, how magic is incorporated within yes. the world. So um, when you're like walking around a town, um, they have these crystals that I think are used. They're using a like a water spell to like drink. Yeah, water I couldn't from. quite tell what that was. Yeah, but there, there's another scene I really like where it's just a guy cutting bushes, but in this world, he knows how to use the like a very traditional Final Fantasy spell arrow, which is like a yep. wind flurry thing, and he's using that to cut a bush. And I just love how like ingrained in the cutscenes where people are using lighter forms of magic, um, it's just really ingrained in this world as opposed to something that only happens in fights. It's like, no, 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 this yep. is all part of this world so there's, like, there's it, commonplace use for it it's not just a we need to kill people so do this because yes i had the same thought because in the in the opening scene where you're sitting around the campfire one of the guys stands up and uses like an ice spell to put out the fire yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's another scene towards about halfway through where somebody like lights a pipe cigarette whatever it was with a fire spell fire like spell, it's just yeah it's just all this kind of cool integrated thing that makes this world feel more final fantasy because it is a very traditional mm-hmm. medieval world yeah. And they're really just hard incorporating like some of the Final Fantasy stuff that I feel like we don't see as much, especially coming off of 15, 13, those, yeah. those games that are much more pushing away from it. It feels very much like the 9 and 12 where it's like, okay, we got to get back sure. to Final Fantasy. I mean, they mentioned crystals more than you can imagine, like a <laughs> sure. dozen times in this. Don't think Final Fantasy 15 mentioned a crystal once. Like, yeah. It's just, it's very, very cool. I, I love the world. I love everything about it. How do you feel about the M-rated tone? How do you feel about that? It's it's M-rated as hell. Like it's Oh I yeah, was, it is. Well, I, I mean, I think like shocked. the last one of the last lines is like I'll fucking kill you and it's like, "Oh, you're not supposed to say oh, that." Did, I, Cloud's Cloud's not saying that to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I think the one the one scene that besides like the blood, like like M-rated blood is like, okay, fine. It's like it's like, yep. "Oh, it's Final Fantasy with blood." There was a really brutal scene at the end where Joshua gets killed. Um mm-hmm. And I was, like, so shocked by that scene of how fucking brutal it was. And yep. I was <laughs> kind of, like, it took me aback. And, but, and again, this is a sort of, like, foreignness with this one mm-hmm. that I'm liking. But it's so off-tone of anything Final Fantasy, I know. So I was just curious, like, as a Final Fantasy fan, is that something that's, like, it, it being so brutal in a few ways, are you okay with that? Is that make is that interesting? Or is it just, like, oh, this is just Final Fantasy sixteen thing? It's not really, you know... I- no, I don't think. And again, I think I think the game very much builds up to some of that with just some of the like, because you get kind of hints of that as you start going through. I think the icon yeah. fights get more brutal as you go. As far as like, oh yeah. no, that guy just stepped on a million people. Oh, that's we don't normally kill that many people in a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, now this guy is like blood. Okay, it's so it built that way. The one thing that seemed off to me, and again, I think just coming from a Final Fantasy perspective, is it's like there's like real relationships going on. Like <laughs> that was the one part. I was like, <laughs> that's Wait, so funny. Yeah. You're not doing like an awkward like I kind of like you scene, which yeah. is what you get in like especially like if you if you go back far enough. Like I mean, even 15, it's like we're getting married. We have no type of mature interaction between <laughs> us at so any point. True. And it's like this is like 20 minutes in, and it's like jump up on top of <laughs> i mean all yeah. done in a very like pg-13 way PG still way, but yeah. just even that like hint of like no there's like actual relationships happening in a final fantasy game like that to me was kind of the more the more not off-putting is the wrong word because it wasn't off-putting but it was more of this yeah. like oh okay we're we, we we grew up now it's not <laughs> yeah. any more of the awkward like final fantasy 10 like ha 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 ha, ha yeah, it's like, like it's like when they I hold think... hands it's like a big like i think they I think oh yeah yeah they, in 10 they might have kissed but i don't know but i think like, i do think that yeah, yeah i love. think they do yeah yeah but the thing the thing i thought speaking on the relationships not in the m-rated sense but um the one thing i did like that is that the it it set up so many characters pretty early on that i was like a little overwhelmed at first but it was neat seeing it's like okay 
like his mom hates him <laughs> and then yeah. it's like well his mom hates him because i i think if you read it she was like part of this different realm sort of thing but it was just kind of cool like you see all these characters interacting in in interesting ways and it's not just like it feels like mm, i don't want to speak for like jrpgs because again i don't play them that often it feels like they didn't ha- immediately fit into the nice like archetypes like here's our band of good guys getting together yes. and we're going to save yes, the yes, world. Yes. And then here's our bad guys. It's like, well, no, there's like these four warring kingdoms that all have like different perspectives on this. Um, like I thought yeah, it, was really, it feels it was very, really cool. yeah, sorry. Keep on. It feels very, it feels very much like the, you're just one of the four. Yes. Yours yeah. is the good one. Cause it's the one Clive's a part of. If Clive was a member yeah. of any of these other ones, those would be the good ones. The good right one. Now. Yeah, ex- exactly. And, and I'm sure that, I'm sure that gets, you know, straightened out more and more sure. i'm sure on the straight and narrow of, here's why clive is better than ever you know what i mean yeah. here's why this is the right one i'm sure we get there you know hours from now Whatever. but yeah. just that initial thing is just this it's, it's this murkiness this not yeah. like good and evil you know they're going to get the crystals to end the world and i'm gonna stop them it's not that <laughs> kind of classic final fantasy it's no everybody has these things and each one's kind of built around their icon built around their city and and we're gonna all just fight each other because yeah it, murkiness and who and knows it, who's in the right who knows who's in the wrong who knows who's where at this point well when you see the good guys powers and it's like incinerating yeah. people around them it's like I, it's like oh i like you said it's like uh, are we the good guys in this situation is there a good guy in this situation i just mm-hmm. i really like that i think it leans a little too game of like very clearly influenced by game of thrones like, oh, it's yeah. hard to even it's hard to even ignore it's like very game of thrones but it's just like again that sort of foreignness with final fantasy um, the other big thing I noticed that was very strange and foreign is that this doesn't just play like a DMC game. Like, it's almost like set up like one so far. I'm just saying the opening. But it mm-hmm. was like, <laughs> like you have your battle arenas. You do a series of battle arenas. Yep. You do like a little bit of DMC type walking around. And then you go to yep. another battle <laughs> arena. Wait. And I was I was really shocked that I was like, oh, this isn't just DMC fighting. This is like, this is like a DMC game. <laughs> it's really weird. For sure. And even like the like camera pans into those battle arenas, it's always Clive <laughs> saying something like, "Well, let's go take care take, of business." Take, take you know what I mean? Like whatever, yeah. like whatever the generic like one liner that Dante or Nero would say as you go in there. It's that yeah. same kind of feeling of like, "All right, get the swords out, boys. Let's go." <laughs> like that kind of. It just has that weird like feeling that Devil May Cry does, and it it. But the weird thing is, it all fits together so well. Yeah, that it doesn't yeah. it doesn't feel like that's out of place. Like you're like, oh, we were just doing this yeah. kingdom and summon icon thing, and now we've got weird one liners to kill goblins. Like, yeah, <laughs> it, it fits together really well. Um, but combat, I thought uh, the combat's very tight. Again, I think yeah. very very straightforward at this point. But um, I did the there's yeah. like a second part of the demo, mm-hmm. and you jump in there, and oh my gosh, where there's buttons to push. Because <laughs> sure. like, I, I kind of felt like as I was going through this, up until the last boss fight with the knight, that it was a lot of just like yes. square, 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 yeah, square, yeah. square, square, triangle, square, 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 yeah. dodge. Um, if you jump into the second part, there's a lot of because you can switch different icons and you can kind of go through and each one has different abilities. Each one has different sets. There's like ones because um, the Phoenix one that you have originally when you hit circle is just a dash to an enemy. Yeah. One of the other ones is just like a giant shield that pops up. So all of a sudden you start to get oh, to play cool. with those things when you jump yeah. into that a little bit more, um, which has me much more excited about combat because I enjoyed it, but it did feel very like even by the end of this demo, I'm like, okay. Give me a new ability, please. Give me a new ability. <laughs> well, it, well, yeah. I mean, you know, you, did you have the, did you did you mess with the ability stuff? Yeah, I jumped. No? I jumped okay. into all of them. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. So you you did see like the ability ring, and you could like. Add yeah, yeah. No, I add, I added okay. like all. Yeah. Of, I think I added all or most. You could yeah. add almost all of them if you had the points. If you didn't master them, you could add everything. I think I just went there and added yes. almost everything. It, it's it was really weird because the combat was like oh this is devil may cry and it's like oh it's not devil may cry it's like it's like trying to figure out where final fantasy 16 because i was like playing it like a devil may cry game but then the cadence a devil may cry game with a block and a dodge is very different than a devil may cry game yeah. so trying to figure that out it's like oh this is it's just it was just an interesting system i, I mean i loved it i thought i thought it was, i thought it was really cool and like oh i'm excited to see more that's why i didn't touch the second part is like i want to see this stuff as i'm supposed to sort yeah, of yeah. thing so i i was really excited for it while i was like a little hesitant beforehand as like because this is just it's a really strange game it's really really odd the cadence of the game is weird the story is weirdly told it's it's I guess it's just different. It's just so different it's, in so many ways. That it's was, unique. I was very surprised. Yeah. 
yeah. I, I feel like different i feel like different has this connotation of like there's something like off about it it's unique sure. is what it is like it, yeah. it's, it feels it feels like something that people haven't done i feel like there's yes. parts yeah. that people have done but i don't feel like you've ever had kind of okay your giant monster type things that are really okay we haven't had that assembled with a game of thrones thing we haven't had that with a devil may cry combat right. but we haven't had that yeah. with this really heavy focus on abilities and items and it just really does feel like you're kind of pulling in all these things and going okay what works in this type of RPG and this type of action yeah. game and this type of, and, and you're just assembling this thing. And the fact that they're kind of putting it all together in a way that feels so incredible is, yeah. is incredible. And I am again, my game of the year to this <laughs> moment is probably the final fantasy 16 <laughs> prologue demo. Like that is probably the yeah. best game this year so far. Like it, it, it's incredible. It's an originality. I don't think we've seen AAA games in, in a while. That yes. is really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm pumped to see the full the full thing. I pre-ordered it like a year and a half ago, so yeah. <laughs> I, I, I try to figure out where to pre-order it from so I can get it day one. So you know, I might just go run to best. a Target. I think the day off is the best. That's how I get all my games day one. It says <laughs> run to a Target uh, in the morning before work. <laughs> there you go. But look forward to more Final Fantasy 16 because we'll both be oh, running sure. through this thing like crazy. Um, but we are Workforce Gaming. We try and get new videos up every Monday. Subscribe to our channel. Comment any thoughts you have here. And we'll see you later. Bye.